government already had a predetermined master plan for for the for the rail system for the metro, the, the line three is going from Panama City to um, to an area called uh Cabrera, which is just outside of Panama City proper itself over the Bridge of the Americas is approximately now it's a very populated area where a lot of people commute into the city every day to, to, to go to work. Um, a degree of private different companies can come. You know, they, they, they have access to the, to the plans and all of the, you know, the, 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 the how do you say, the, the bid specs in order to, to participate. And then they put together with their engineers what they think it would cost them to, to build it. They make a proposal, and then there's a criteria of what um, they have to follow. And if they need it, then whoever has the best bid provides it. But we're also here looking for businesses that are looking to expand their operations throughout the over a billion people. And then now the numbers are interesting for any private company to want to come. And Panama, the advantage is the location, the cost uh, of operation. So from a business standpoint, it just makes a lot of sense to be located there. That's why we consider ourselves a hub. Um, again, we're, we're, we're looking at an array of different industries and sectors. Obviously, the Ministry of Commerce, being the Ministry, we're, we're also uh, we're a body that, that, that uh, supports it and helps as much as we can. But it's it's mainly its members and its governing body are all from the private sector. Mm -hmm. and it's elected amongst its members. It just runs a, a very different. So it's not like supposed to be. No, not at all. Not at all. No. We uh, originally Panama had an agency for the promotion of foreign investment and, and, and of exports. So I mean, I can't imagine Central America or Latin America without Panama. Panama, like Mr. Richard told, is a hub of different kinds of, uh, of, of centers in terms of economic, in, in terms of airport, in terms of trade, in terms of, uh, I mean, every kind of business you can't expect without Panama uh, or Central America or Latin America. My contribution as a vice president of Indo-Latin Chamber of Commerce, this Mr. Rajkumar uh, Sharmaji, gave me uh, two years back to represent uh, his chamber in Central America. Um, I'm really very glad to you, sir, and thank you to you to giving me this opportunity, and I've really worked hard for his chamber and, and to make India, again, name more bigger than it is. So I was the first Indian person, you can say Indian citizen, who introduced Bollywood movie. Uh, that is what is a way to introduce our culture for, for anywhere, anywhere else in the world. If you go, I'm, I'm in Europe, America, Central America, it doesn't matter. People just recognize us uh, because of, you know, oh, uh, you have that Bollywood movie, you have that Bollywood feeling, you have that Bollywood dance. So that is what I took a chance, uh, I took a, a, a step uh, bringing Bollywood movies 17 years back to Central America where nobody was knowing about uh, Bollywood in, uh, in any part of the
from Central America. That also gave me an inspiration uh, for being an actor. Like I told you, sir, I always wanted to become an actor in India. I couldn't, uh, you know, I uh, couldn't succeed here. I did my third movie. It was a huge effort. Uh, you can say, I mean, we can have a whole day of discussion for me to bring in a Bollywood team and to make first Indo-Latin American movie where we use the expertise of our Bollywood people, we use the expertise of Panama crew, Colombia crew, Costa Rica crew, and to make and we put them all in one table, like 70 people, and we work for a movie which was nominated for more than 46 festivals, and we won more than 17 awards. So that that was one of the most seen movie of uh, you can say of Latin America and Central America in 2018, that gave me an inspiration that, you know, what I dreamed, uh, I mean, always you have to pursue your dream and God always give, gives you a way. So, Masuka, did you see the uh, laptops in India? It was being used as a new technology like EMS as a uh, new technology, mobile computer. You see the search in it, the world wide interest, it was my idea, not the EMS. For example, one of uh, the main things we export is coffee um, from a region called Boquete, and that's actually world-renowned. I believe uh, just recently, a few months ago, uh, Panama won the star for the highest, for the most costly pound of coffee ever sold. It was over a thousand somewhat dollars for a pound of coffee, the case of coffee. Um, we, we also export pineapple, uh, some of the best pineapple, even the even the Asian countries, China. They say. Even though they acquire some pineapple from like the Philippines and other countries, they like the pineapple that comes from Panama because it has a little bit of a different taste, a little sweeter. They say um, we, um, you know, we we, we export uh, rum as well. We're, we're being in the Caribbean; it's a big rum sector. Panama also has its own rum, uh, so things of that nature that that we export, and we are trying to increase incentives for our exporters, for you know, our local producers. But at the same time, we're also very interested in finding companies that have te new technologies that can help increase the production and, and, and make our, our farmers more efficient. And not only will it increase the production, but also the quality of the, of the produce that it's producing. We can do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's something that you know, we, we are uh, a very um, interested in and part of the reasons why we're, we're sitting here today to see what type of things uh, or companies would be interested in coming to Panama and exploring from a business aspect of the possibilities. <coughs> um, so um, I don't know if I helped answer your question particularly in the, in the, in the form of the and in the insurance, um, 
Yes, Panama does have a, a vibrant uh, uh, sense of insurance uh, industry of multiple insurance companies uh, of all different sizes in Panama. There is a, um, there's certain industries like banking, insurance, um, uh, the, the, the Wall Street, the, the, the stock exchange that, that have regulatory bodies that, um, that regulate them. Uh, I'd be more than happy to pass on the, the contact information for uh, the, the insurance aspect of, of, of that date. Obviously, uh, you can probably, if you go online on their website, you can see all of the companies that uh, are licensed to practice insurance, reinsurance in Panama. Um, and aside from that, I'd be more than happy. I have a couple friends that are in the insurance business, and I'm more than happy to put them in touch with you. Uh, and you can explore different opportunities that, that might be there for, for your company directly. Um, waste management. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, waste management is 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 a, is a topic that is always kind of a hot topic because it's it influences the the well being and health of the country and and whatnot. Um, I know constantly looking for new technologies and new solutions to help improve. Uh, the way waste management is dealt with and handled in country. Um, and we're always open to it. So, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's an industry, again, that's, um, I'm not an expert in it personally, but uh, we're always uh, more than happy to put you in touch with you know, the, the right agencies and the right departments in the government that deal with it and, and the companies uh, from the private sector that would also maybe be involved uh, in that. The, um, as far as uh, um, from the movie side, uh, Hollywood, the type of incentives that, as a country, we we, we provide currently, the, the current law that Panama has, uh, if someone does a production greater than three million dollars, they have a 15% rebate. But uh, right now, with the creation of our new ministry that we're just now being formed. Uh, is called the, the Ministry of Cultura, the Ministry of Culture. Uh, along with that, we're revamping those incentives and actually dropping the minimum uh, for minimum investment to half a million dollars down this region as well. Uh, it's a little bit cooler than being right down at sea level. Um, so, so yes, and we have you know first class in, in, in downtown Panama City. You have first class facilities where you can stay. You know, uh, all the major hotel brands are, are there. Um, you you have uh, one thing we kind of mentioned, and they, they mentioned here earlier. Uh, Panama is unique as a country, and in, in the rest in, compared to the rest of Central and South America, is that we're kind of a melting pot of all different ethnicities and races from around the world. Um, Unlike our neighbors, which is it's definitely a lot more clear, okay, you have the Spanish descent and, and mixed with the, with the natives of the area at one point. Panama, we've, throughout our history, have been receiving different uh, races and different people from, from, from all over the world. Uh, obviously, we have a, a big Spanish influence, but like they mentioned here, we have a big Indian community because they came over to work on the Intercontinental Railroad, the Ocean Ocean Railroad, before the canal was built. So. For Panama size, I mean, it may not sound like much, but but for you know, 15,000 people or more plus, and in, 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 in Indian community is quite significant. And so we have restaurants, supermarkets, all catered towards that community. Um, same thing goes with um, with the German community, with a uh, United. You know, we have a North American community, very big, U.S. and Canada. Um, we have a Chinese community is huge and it keeps growing. Um, the so, with that said, we're, we're, we're a, a, a unique area where people come and you can experience these different cultures all within Panama. You can go out and, and when you go to restaurants, you can a variety of different type of cuisine uh, that you can, that you can you know, take advantage of. Um, so, yes, I, I think it's, it's a great destination. It has great connectivity, uh, like I, I mentioned before, with over, we have, 84 um, direct flights to cities, the major cities throughout Central and South America and Europe, uh, reaching over 34 countries on a daily basis. Um, we 
we're really hoping, we're the only country that has that. Uh, talking about logistics real quickly, because I know a lot of you are in logistics. Uh, we're the only country in the region that has three major international airports all within 20 kilometers of downtown Panama City. So from downtown, you can reach three international airports within minutes. Um, that, that's incredible connectivity. We're in the process of building a new um, free zone within uh, our major airport, the Tucuman International Airport, uh, a whole duty free zone for, for cargo, mainly for the movement of cargo shipping. Uh, DHL, which is for the Latin American uh, and the Panama to come here and greet us. I'm Francisian, I am the man managing partner in English. Uh, English is an uh, presidency and entrepreneur activity with uh, running with Kunil uh, Kanan. Um, so I have a question and want support in terms of startup community. Uh, uh, so we are we have been running a very uh, active startup community in Delhi and Bangalore, and we have been focusing and trying to bring different entrepreneurs, investors, who, are, who can gain uh, knowledge by sharing each other journeys with each other. This December we are doing a meetup on beauty cosmetic industry where it correlates with the technology. Nowadays consumers needs are changing and startups are able to cope up with that. There are many successful startups in India who are able to grow uh, um, who are able to grow. So in this regard are there any startups in the cosmetic plus technology space who could be part of this meet up in December. Uh, we are doing this event in uh, Delhi and would love to appreciate more on the startup engagement perspective. Thank you. When we put together this the trip over here to India, one of the sectors we were told to, to look at and focus on was startups because we know it's a, it is the future and it's kind of a growing growing industry. Uh, it's kind of how you know business it starts. It has to start somewhere. Um, and also on the technological side. I, I do not know if there's a startup specifically in the industry, you've mentioned cosmetics, and uh, but I know there are a couple different areas that in Panama, for example, the, the city of knowledge where a lot of startups have kind of based themselves out of, and I would be more than happy to put you in touch with any of the people of the city of knowledge, but also you might want to check with our Chamber of Commerce, or uh, we can try to look to see who we have registered from a company standpoint uh, in that type of industry, and, and then you know, pass on the information to you. Mr. Jain, contact us and uh, question and answer sessions come to close here. I would like to give you one more information, which a gentleman uh, raised the point uh, about the export chemical and all that. Let the trade know India export to. Panama and Latin America, automobiles and all the initiatives between the, between the two countries. And when we are living 31, 31, we are living to Panama, but uh, first day that I arrived to, to my work, November the 1st, I will be working very hard from my side to answer all your questions and share it with with Mr. Richard, all the possibilities that we have to do a, a good relation with you. Thank you very much. Made a bilateral relationship between the India and Panama. Would you like to share something, Mr. Prabhakar? Thank you, sir. Such a good initiative you have also taken. Can you share something? First, Mr. Raj, and then, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for media people to be here. And I also thank you. Thanks for the dedication who has come from the Panama as well as our wife and Mr. Prabhakar Sir, who is a great success hero over there. I would like to say that Indo-Latin American Chamber of Commerce is here to promote the trade and investment relations, social and cultural relations between India, Panama and Latin America and not only this thing, social and cultural activities. We are, we are, we are promoting the value. Silence! Continue, sir. Continue. We are, we are, we are promoting the trade and investment relation activities by doing bringing the delegation from there and carrying the delegation from India. We will continue and we as a 
ILACC, I showed to the Panama delegation that we will do a good business between India and Panama. Thank you. Uh, so, would you like to share something, sir? Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, like I told in my my speech right now, that being an Indian is a responsibility, and I took that. Uh, when I went outside, then I understand that you know what what being an Indian means to us. I mean, uh, I worked there uh, more than 18 years in different sector in education, movies. I created name of our country on a on a very high uh, high level by doing first Indo Latin. American movie and I'm the first Indian Spanish actor and I was awarded by one of the most uh, prestigious festival in, in, in the States in New York. So what can I say you is that uh, you know coming Panama to India is like a uh, you know